guys, Mazaku here today. Yeah, I know it's been a while. Look, first of all, look at the look at the road. Look at the diamonds on me dancing. Your boy finally got his own place. So I mean, I mean, it took a while, but I got his own place. Oh shit! Yeah, I mean, we doing it, yo. We do. I told y'all big things was happening, man. Sorry it took so long, man. But everything was kind of like how I wanted, I guess. This bed is big as shit. You can't see from this ankle, but this bed is fucking huge. Mazaku here with a fucking Dragon Ball. So, yo. 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 I know y'all seen the PFU. Oh. I told y'all niggas, yo, the fuck is you, Cheeto? Yo, 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 yo. First off, I'm look. I love trunks, but I'm still confused how the fuck he he's even still able to put up even a, a bit of a fight. But um, f whatever. <laughs> Only uh the bad part about this episode was when the little girl like then when they was trying to run out away from black and shit, she tried to she ran after the sword and it's like yo, you you're just getting in the way, making their job harder because they might have to take a blow so you won't get hit. But. Everything in this episode was downright amazing. I am loving uh Black Zamatsu. Let's call him Black Zamatsu's um new form and his uh angel abilities. Cause you know as I said, Weez is an angel. So the fact that you know Black has that angel essence kind of you know builds power upon his name, and he can you know if he wanted to stand with the gods. Cause I'm gonna be honest with you. You gotta look at it this way. Beer is seventy percent power. Whooped uh. Super Saiyan God Goku's ass. Goku has Super Saiyan Blue now. And Kaiju sometimes 10. That would be, give Beerus more of a fight, but Beerus was still winning in the long run. But now we have Goku and Vegeta fusion into Vegito. It's like a GT. You thought Super Saiyan 4 was strong, but yeah, it was getting dicked by Omega Shenron the whole time. But as soon as Gogeta Super Saiyan 4 came along, two attacks would have killed him. That's how much of a difference this is. And the fact that two gods. So mind you, Goku and Badir, they are gods. Zamatsu isn't a god. Black Goku had the power of God. They fuse and then, okay, cool. You got like a nice little mixed breed, ultimate, Sengi going for him. Cool. Why not? Okay? Goku and Vegeta, no. You literally have two gods fusion. One with the bloodline with Vegeta, bloodline. Of the first ever Super Saiyan God. You have fucking Goku. The first Super Saiyan God. I said the first ever Super Saiyan God. Well, well technically Goku would be the second Super Saiyan God. But you guys know what I mean. Yo, next episode. And it, if you guys seen the... I don't know why I'm even talking about the preview. I said I'm talking about the episode. But the preview, Vegito was whooping this nigga ass. This nigga got this motherfucker turning into purple slime. But let me talk about this episode. First off, I gotta give credit where credit is due. Zamatsu is... um. Definitely one of the best Dragon Ball, like in ov overall villains to ever exist in history. This guy, unlike a, you know, a lot of other people, you know, Cell was smart, but Cell was also cocky. Zamasu, he isn't cocky, he's very precise and he's very intelligent. And he played his cards right to be in this position. So you have to give him credit where credit is due. The shit that he's done, the, the gauntlet he put on Chunks, Goku, and Vegeta, he made these niggas uh, go back twice. And by the way, Trunks poured a cringe moment when, um, I believe Mai gave him two sensu beans and as soon as he gets to the battlefield and he sees Goku and Vegeta fucked up, he just looks at him and says both of their names without giving him any sensu beans for help. But one good thing that came out this episode, we got to see, which, no, 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 not could be, probably the second time, you know, despite hit, Goku go full power in the Super Saiyan blue form because we're so used to him playing or having like small little rage moments but this time we see him and Vegeta go full power and they book through like this purple angel of an essence of aura that was surrounding um black Goku and kind of remind me of that show I think it's called like dragons or some shit like that I'm not sure like blue dragon yeah blue dragon some, I'm not sure what the fuck that shit is but the fact that they was able to break through it now it makes sense 
People you know I bitch, you know he's an angel. There's nothing changed, but it's like it took Goku and Vegeta full power and Super Saiyan Blue to break just the essence of the uh, energy he had on his back. As far as fighting them, you know he still was whooping their asses. So seeing this, and as I said before, it's a reason that Supreme Kai showed up. It's no reason for him to be there, but you have to give Goku and Vegeta the air ranks of Fuse to Vegito. Now, as far as how they're going to get split up this time, I'm not sure because last time it took Majin Buu to absorb the both of them for them to uh, really split split up. So I'm not sure how they're going to get, you know, de-split or whatever. But this this position right here is uncomfortable. Next time when we doing this review over there, my fucking neck hurt. But, damn, I'm, I'm just I'm loving this shit. He has the nice little epic ass angel ring around him. Black Goku is absolutely putting on damage. And as far as the Super Saiyan White thing, you know, this would be the Super Saiyan White, if you, if you were to say. I don't really give a fuck about it. But I'm still confused on why the fuck Beerus allowed his counterpart to enter this. <laughs> that, that, that is what confuses me. Because it's like, cause at first I thought Beerus was going to come and kill him anyway, because it's like, he kind of has to now, because of Supreme Kai dies, Lord Beerus dies as well. So it it makes no sense for the Lord Beerus to say, yeah, sure, go on, go ahead and do it. But uh, I'm not sure. This episode was epic. I give this episode a nine out of 10. Goku Vegeta got their asses whooped, and, but they yet, you know, they prevail. And Trunks with this whole blue aura, it's, and Trunks is my favorite character, but I'm a, I gotta be honest, it's starting to really fucking annoy me. We see no hardship Goku and Vegeta have to go through to achieve their God form. There should be no fucking reason that Trunks gets an aura just for being angry. At least go Super Saiyan 3. Even though he probably could have just reached Super Saiyan 2, which would be weird. But it's just not that. Because Super Saiyan Blue is a power up from Super Saiyan God. So it, I don't, I'm not sure. As I said with the whole Vegeta and Trunks thing, the reason why he has it is because he's Vegeta's son. And Vegeta didn't need it. And since Vegeta is a prince or sets king that goes by bloodline and that bloodline would be, you know, there if the Vegeta family wasn't the strongest out of all of the sayings. But that was already confirmed decades ago. That was that was confirmed already. So as far as the first Super Saiyan God, the first Super Saiyan is obvious it's from Vegeta family. Otherwise, his family wouldn't be dominant as it has been. But Trunks is a half breed, which is why it pisses me off. It kind of, it really pisses me off. And Trunks is my favorite Dragon Ball character of all time, and it, it's pissing me off. We see Goku struggling. Trunks should be over with the fucking slap. Fuck him pushing back a blast. No, it, it, I don't give a fuck how angry you get. I don't care. Unless you're Gohan, not the one in Super, like Gohan, because Gohan, they already hinted at his, you know, his hit of potential when he was a fucking... Four or five year old. We seen it with the Raddus fight, so Gohan would be the only exception for that to happen. You don't just get angry and then, oh shit, I'm damn near God's level. No. No. Not at all. And it and it's already confirmed it's this new form. We see them went out of it like three times already in and out. So he knows how to activate it now. So no congratulations, whatever. At the same time, it, it, it's bullshit. It's, it should be no fucking reason why Trump isn't dead right now. This guy is a god and an angel. If he slaps Trunks, that should be it. We've seen him bitch Goku Vegeta multiple times outside of the angel form. So it's more, I don't, I'm not sure. I feel like they're kind of dropping the ball on him um, a little bit. Uh, Black Goku or Zamasu, whatever you guys want to call him. They're, they're dropping the ball. And it's kind of like the murderer with the Naruto thing. Like when I murder became a god, let's be honest, that shit should have been over in seconds. When Obito became a god, that shit should have been over in seconds. It should have been. Logically, it should have been over in seconds. So, I, I don't know. Hopefully Trunks gets put out the picture. And I don't want them to understand Trunks has a fandom. Look, I love Trunks. But at the same time, no. No. It's... It's not realistic. It's not realistic at all. Chunk should have been dead. Reaching back to Dragon Balls. And I was talking to my brother Tiji with the Xbox, you know, Link, that one decay, my brother. And what he said made sense to me. He said, if Boma 
is still alive, when, when she was still alive, throughout all that trauma. This is even before Trump even went to back in time in the first place. We have Bowman, we have Gohan. And it's astounding how um, Bowman and Gohan know about the name of Dragon Ball. So androids didn't even know about fucking name it. They could have easily went there, wished Piccolo back to life, and got the Dragon Balls, and did something. At least. He didn't have to do it now with the androids. He could wait till Black and then decide to use the Dragon Balls. But as far as all this extra back and forth bullshit, it cost way too much shit. It cost way too much shit. I'm not sure what it is. Oh, man. It's, it's just... But Trunks, man, it, 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 it's cringy to see him put up a fight. Goku and Vegeta, we see the next episode, they go into Vegeta, and it it is going to be amazing. I was going to say maybe they should have a different hair color, but, you know, I got to be real. Like, blue, because blue equals more Super Saiyan blue, so I'm not sure. It could have been a Super Saiyan turquoise or some shit. But if I'm not mistaken, the Batarus itself makes you stronger when you do fuse, so it shouldn't be like, hey, we two combined and we make this god beyond a god being. It should be, you know, an extra model ahead because they are two. Because we've seen Goku and Vegeta fight Boo. You've seen both of them get fucked up. You've seen them go to Vegito and fuck Boo up completely. And the same thing with Zamasu. They got dick and the, we've seen it seen in the preview. Vegito is handing Zama, Zamasu his ass right now. It, it's not funny. The fight isn't even close. But I still do want to see um, Zamasu put on some offense because uh, technically you're in the Myrtle and a God mixed together. So, Battle of the Gods, this is the real Battle of the Gods. And for those, I'm going to say this now. I understand Beerus is a strong motherfucker. But it took 70% of his power to beat Goku, Super Saiyan God, right? But I'm going to be honest, Vegito, the mind, mind you, we used to say in Goku and Vegeta complete each other. It's like one had this problem, one had this problem. But the opposite is they, they really didn't. So they didn't together. And or slash the perfect fighter. With two Super Saiyan Blues. So I'm not the one to jump to conclusions. But you take two of those guys. And you put them up against Beerus. Vegito, Super Saiyan God. I'm going to call it Vegito Devil Super Saiyan God Blue for power versus Beerus. Mind you, this nigga was a gumdrop fucking boo up versus Beerus with 30% extra power, I guess. Sorry, Beerus. We got it, little people. We got it. We got to face the facts. Beerus cannot beat Vegito. It'll be a good ass fight to watch. And I'll be the first one to watch it. Shit, I'll be the first one to review it for fucking happens. But Beerus cannot beat Vegito. Simple. Now, can he beat this Zamatsu? Well, you can't even kill this Zamatsu. But it looks like you had to rip this Zamatsu apart to, right, to separate him again. But they had the Pataras. But the way they made it look like in the PV, uh, I'm not sure. Vegito's fucking his ass up. He's fucking him up really bad. But it's Vegito, Double Super Saiyan God, Blue. It's, 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 it's a different round. And I believe if Beerus seen Vegito fight, Beerus will start shaking in his fucking boots. But that's just my opinion. What do you guys think, my fans? Reviews, but man, we're going to be dropping these reviews, man. I've seen an episode, episode, that shit was boring as fuck. That might be, it's not going to be a rant, but I'm just going to be like upset doing that review when I review it. But like, comment, subscribe. I love you guys with all my heart, man. Exactly.